What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Privacy Wayfinder. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be talking about Graphene OS today. We're going to be talking about the Barrel Travel Router by GLINET. You can see on the screen here, I'm on GLINET's website. This is the Barrel Router. It is a travel router, however, I am using it as our main home Wi-Fi router. I'm not going to go over every feature of this router. I mainly want to talk about how to set up a VPN on this router. So at the top, I got several tabs here. I got the router admin panel. I'm logged into my Proton VPN account. We can do a couple speed tests, test out a few servers, and see what the performance is of this router. So in the GLINET admin panel, if we scroll down, we can see we have this VPN tab. We'll click on it. And what we want to do to set up VPN, I personally am going to set up a WireGuard VPN. So I'm going to go here to WireGuard client and we're going to set up WireGuard manually. So we can click on that. And now what we want to do is go to our Proton VPN account. Once you're logged in on the left hand side, you can click on the WireGuard section. And this is where we're going to do our configuration. So first I want to see what's closest to me. So here Proton VPN is suggesting that I use NY73 as that is the closest server to me. So let's do that. So let's use NY73. So how I like to do it is I like to give the name of my configuration, the same name as the server. That way it's very clear what server I'm connecting to. So we got NY73 here. We're going to select our platform. So I'm going to choose router for VPN options. You can choose to have no filter block malware only or block malware ads and trackers. I'm going to just choose block malware only because with our barrel router, we can also set up next DNS, which I love as well, but we're not going to talk about that here. We're just focused on VPN. I don't need to moderate NAT and I'll keep VPN accelerator on. All you do now here is just hit create and it's going to create a configuration for this server. So let's do that. Hit create and here it creates a configuration file. So all you need to do is select all of the text in this configuration file, copy it, go back to your admin panel of your router. On this page, we're going to hit configuration and we're going to paste in that configuration file. We're going to hit next. And for the name, again, I want to match up the name that I chose at the beginning. You can see here that the name that I put here was saved as the configuration name in Proton VPN. And just for alignment, I like to use that same name here. NY73. Hit add and it says success. We've added in this server. So here you can see that we have our NY73 server. Let's connect. And we've connected. So let's see if our IP address changed. Let's go to DuckDuckGo. What's my IP? And here, this is not my home IP. This is the IP of that NY73 server, 146.70.72.166. We can actually create multiple VPN servers in here. So let's say that you want a server near you, but you also want a server in Switzerland as well. So we can go back to our WireGuard configuration in Proton VPN. Let's scroll down rather than choosing the best server near me. We're going to go to the big list down here. Let's do Switzerland and let's say, let's just choose a random one. Let's say we want the Switzerland 17. So again, just so that I can keep track of my servers, I'm going to choose the same name as what Proton gives the server. So CH17. So C817, router, blocking malware only, VPN accelerator on. We're good. And now let's go to that server and hit create here. And Proton VPN again will give you the configuration file. All we need to do is copy everything, go back to our admin panel. So here, once you have at least one server set up, 
To add new servers, you'll need to go to management and add new profiles. And it takes you back to the same manual setup page. So again, we'll go to configuration. We will copy in our CH17 server. Hit next. We'll name it in our admin panel, CH17, the same name that we gave it in Proton VPN. And it says success. So now let's choose CH17 and let's hit change server. All right, so it looks like it went through and we can go back to what's my IP. Our last address, the New York 73, was a 146.70. So now if we just hit refresh, you can see that our IP is now 185.159.157.44 and it's based out of Switzerland. So now you can just go back and forth here. You can go back to New York, chain server, so that's it. It's super, super easy. Let's just run some speed tests. We are on the Switzerland server. Okay, that finished. Good download speed, good upload speed, but very poor ping. You can see 222 milliseconds. And that's because, of course, the server is far away in Switzerland. So let's switch back to New York and see if there's any difference. And there you have it, great download speed, good upload speed, and the ping is 33 milliseconds, so much better. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope everyone has found it helpful, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.